This is my favorite song. I'm sorry. Sorry, item. I need a percussion here. Alright y'all, part three. Collision. Nah, bruh. This is the shortest song of the album. And of course it's the best song. You get on my nerves. Shortest song of the album is the best song, Stray Kids. Oh my goodness, bro, what is this? Bro, what is this R&B jazzy type energy that we're getting already? Not me just saying get lit. Oh my. The, per the, the percussion, hear how tinny it is? The guitar. You are singing these R&B melodies in you? Oh, it's back in the song. Sorry. This is my favorite song. I'm sorry. Sorry, item. The guitar guy. Yeah, my yeah, This is one of my favorite Stray Kids B-sides ever. Already. for me. Yo, the horn gives it like a luxurious vibe, like it gives it like summer vacation vibes. Really drag the part out. This is legit one of my favorite trick hits, besides of all time. Guess that's there's like discordant like bells. Whatever I said was my favorite off the album before. This is my favorite off the album. Yeah, this is just my vibe. This is my vibe. This is just my vibe. This is just this is just my vibe. Yeah. The way the easiest way to my heart. The easiest way to my heart is some soulful. Is some soulful R and B music. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. The easy way for my the easiest way to my heart is some good um. Mm, mm, mm. This good old cultured inspired music. Mm, mm, mm. And that was nice. 
the production on that but it also had like the stray kids like it kept the energy of the album because of like those like clanking kind of sounds almost oh my gosh the tempo oh, i love it love it the brass the horns that's what gave it like a good old <laughs> Like it gave me that extra soul, that extra jam, and then there was also something kind of jazzy about it too. Ooh, ooh. And Stray Kids doesn't really touch that genre that much. Um, it's not normally their vibe. Um, they normally they normally err on um the side of like just just they normally err on the side of like EDM and um more like trap or like more like trap or like modern like EDM trap hip hop influence like sounds so they don't often touch that but when they do it is always a treat and that is some of the best that they've done that's some of the best that they've done I love that <laughs> this is my one F and F Like this is what I'm more used to from Stray Kids. Ooh. Wow. The voice sounds great. Hey. Hey. This is very early 2010s. Especially with that. Ooh, his vocals are just like, yeah, oh, that's delicious. That is. Mm, the percussion. <laughs> They're using their voices very in this. Cushion. Little drop. <laughs> What's his name? Pitbull? The synths. This chorus, this part of the chorus. Gives me that vibe in life. Ooh. Yes. Yes. The synths in the back. Mm. Vocals. that would have sealed the deal it's okay i still like it i still like it yes yes i don't have much to say about it it's 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 fun song it was great it was lovely um it's not really something that um it's not my it's not my go-to to listen to but it is a type of song that i really enjoy to listen to in the summertime that kind of just like that kind of just like light-hearted fun pop edm just like track that just that people can jump and like sing along to like oh my goodness like it's so catchy and i could just imagine that part that one part of that like post-chorus moment 
I just imagine that like getting so many crowds hype and that's really right like like for me personally that's the appeal of songs like this is when you get to experience them with like a live audience or like watch a performance of that so like this is the type of song where I would want to see like a live stage for like <laughs> you know you like kids you know that who you want to see every like b-side performed right but some b-sides really aren't the type of b-sides that can be brought justice with a stage performance at least to me at least because like because like performing collision if you need a very specific setting like you need a smaller stage for it to really get the impact that listening to it keeps but like this is the type of track that you can like just i don't know we can have fun with you know in the stadium anyways i enjoy that i enjoy that ah i enjoy that i'm not blown away by it but um i love it nonetheless because girl i like them i like them okay the we are on to beautiful beautiful Make sure I'm still recording. Yes. Looking at yourself, a lot goes in your mind. I don't know if I'm ready to show. Yo, Bang Chan's lower register has been killer on this album. This is beautiful. Is this song? All in English. Wow, the layers. That's beautiful. This might be all in English. That's beautiful. That's so sweet. I'm hearing strings in the in the back. song Don't be moving me to tears now. Mm -mm. It's so nice. Wow. 
Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Keep going. Yes. I was literally about to say go higher. <laughs> did exactly what I needed him to do! I'm so satisfied. Ah. Oh. Can I use one more ad lib? But we love it. Anyway, that was beautiful. Leave it to stray kids to coin a new term. <sighs> as they should, as they should. Y'all, that was lovely, that was lovely. Um, I'm not really a ballad. Excuse me. I'm not really a ballad person, but that was lovely nonetheless. I enjoyed it. Um, it sounded so nice in that one, and oh my goodness. And it's, I love, I love how it was like mostly. It, like, like the song was all in English. Like a lot of people get irritated when idols do English songs, but like I don't know. A lot of these idols, like a lot of these idols, like y'all. <laughs> I wonder if you realize. Like I wonder if you realize like how. Uh, like I know that international fans are not in Korea, but international fans are literally like the difference in between like a lot of these idols like popularity or whatnot like they they like international fan like an international fan base makes like can make such a different for difference for like an idol's fan base and whatnot and that's why arguments like uh that's why arguments like uh, oh oh um they're korean and like as far as things like like controversial stuff like that's why things like that's why things like um Oh, they're Korean, you can't expect them to know, like, fall over flat. Because, like, the K-pop industry is, whether you like it or not, it's very, very international focused. Like, it's, like, a, like it gets a lot of money from, like, an international fan base. And it really, like, tries to, and it's consistently trying to push being international, being whatnot. Like, it's definitely, like... Its goal is to be as relevant and as ubiquitous as kind of like the Western or like American or like what's like most Western like American music industries. Like that's K-pop's goal. Like, and it's okay to acknowledge that because that doesn't mean that K-pop is going to stop being K-pop. It just means that it's going to be K-pop. But internationally focused. <laughs> like it's always, <laughs> but like it's been like that way for a while now. So... I don't mind when idols or groups do English songs. I think it's sweet. I thought that when they do songs of, like English and I've noticed some idols have started to use Spanish a lot of their songs too. Love that. Hoping we get to a point where we get full Spanish songs as well. Like, like girl, like I have no problems with it. <laughs> I have no problems with it. I think it's sweet to acknowledge your international fan base in that way because it's like, Oftentimes it's just one song and you know, like just let them do it, just let them do it. Like the only time it bothers me is when they do a song that's different from their sound. That's when it's kind of like annoying because like okay then like keep your sound at least. But that Stray Kids, um Stray Kids is pretty good at like like these like pop these like pop like these like pop rock like pop light rock ballad so it definitely suits them and we love to see it <laughs> i did not mean to talk about that one that often i did not mean to go on that tangent i'm sorry we're gonna move on to the last track which is called mixtape mixtape time out i already i think i already explained it just in case you didn't know i'm skipping the sound korean version because i've already heard the song um when it came out like it's a japanese release and i won't have any anything new to add to uh, okay, so editing TK here to come through with some info. Y'all, look, look, I totally goofed. I, look, I have a whole reaction 
on my channel to mixtape time out y'all and um i have i hadn't listened to the song since i reacted to it like last year so i completely forgot that it hurt the song entirely and so i react to it as though <laughs> Like, I completely forgot the song, so... But I'm gonna leave my reaction to it anyway, because, like, I legitimately did not remember what it sound like, sounded like at the time. And I guess I could still give my thoughts, and it's kind of funny, but just, just know that if you go on my channel, you will find a reaction video to... <laughs> <laughs> time out from like last year and that's actually the first time i heard the song so yeah but uh yeah like i said it's not really the type of song i listen to so i so i, I hadn't listened to it since so i didn't remember it anyways that's all when i already think about it so mixtape time out I'm looking at the lyrics. This album ended a lot more. This album ended a lot differently than it started. Vocals. Sorry, I was looking at lyrics. <laughs> it's this is so interesting. These last three songs are very different. They always go give you a verse though. I like the spike. Ooh, the bass. Should I get to be the suit this time though? It's so catchy. Wow. Wait, that's it? Ooh, that felt too short. I mean, I guess. It, I mean, I guess. Yes. Okay. Okay. I could have done with it. Okay. Okay. No, I'm fine. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. Y'all, that was lovely. That was lovely. Um, if you've watched me if for if you watch me for other groups, you probably already know that that's not really the type of song I gravitate to. I'm picky with that type of sound, and it really doesn't do anything for me most of the time. But when a group I really like, like Stray Kids, does it, I can at least appreciate it because. Like, if I like the group, then it means I like hearing their vocals or their rapping, regardless of what they're rapping or singing over. So, I like, like, Stray Kids is the type of group where I've reached the point where I can find something to like about literally any of their songs, even the songs I don't plan on listening to again. But I can always, like, have a good listening experience listening to them, regardless. Um, Especially nowadays. Especially nowadays. Where they've really like grown into themselves. Yes, um 
singers and rappers, like, I really feel like, oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's just so nice to hear them. It's so nice to hear them. And that's the type of song that would be really good to see live. Like, I would also enjoy to see a performance of that song. And I understand having that song as a closer for the album. I'm not going to lie. I don't exactly understand. I don't exactly understand FNF, Beautiful, and Mixtape in, um when you take into account all the other tracks on the album, but I'm not mad at it. I think I think it's I think it's fine actually that summertime and the album off kind of because now I think about it. Now I think about it I guess it kinda of makes sense because the album does start off very intense and heavy on the experimentalism and the instrumentation. So I guess it kinda of makes sense that it mellows out as the album goes through so so i i'm seeing the vision even as i'm talking through it right now so i think i understand but um yes y'all <laughs> that that wraps it up um another successful project from stray kids they're very talented i enjoy it every single time they come out and like i said i don't always vibe with every single song that they do and i don't always go back to them but this one was really a standout this one was really a standout for me like 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 this is this is like this is like up there with stray kids albums for me i feel like just off of first listen but uh, anyways let me try and give like a top <sighs> let's try and give a top five um collision is my favorite I'm gonna say item is my second favorite. DLC might be my third favorite, but that remains to be seen. If it's not gonna be DLC, then it's, uh, we'll say DLC third favorite. Um, we'll say Hall of Fame for an S class five. And then the rest, the rest. Anyways, um, yeah. If you made it this far, thank you so much for dealing with me and whatever this was for Street Kids. Like, comment, subscribe, you choose. Let me know what you thought down below. Let me know what your favorite track is. Let me know what your top list is. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like what you think about this project. If you like liked it, whatnot. Because I've I've seen like a bunch of mixed takes and mixed reactions, which is common nowadays with Street Kids. But I'm curious. I'm curious to see where if you're, like where like my audience lies within Street Kids because I feel like I feel like there's like there's like audiences like yeah like I want to get a vibe of where my audience like stands in terms of like straight kids like because I'm not actually not actually sure um but um uh, yeah see you on the next one peace